Hello there. Thank you for visiting me. And I wanted to show you how I made an envelope out of recycled shopping bag. So I'm not advertising Market Basket, but that's the closest place I can go to uh, shopping for food. So that's what I have on hand, and I have many of those. So um, shopping bags are really great for recycling projects. That's really a really fun to do things with this paper. Anyways, I'm trying to do my best to rip this. And if you want to be a little cleaner, you can just steam the seams and then pull them easily apart. You basically get one nice sheet of paper. And now that I'm watching the video, it really looks like I am trying my hardest to get clean lines, but it's... Um, not working so well. It's it's okay to have kind of chopped edges and you can either cut them off or you can actually use them in a collage once you paint over them. So I'm gonna make sure that my paper lays pretty flat and um, I don't uh, have a very large surface to work with so that's why I'm doing a little bit more of a close up here but I want you to see everything I'm doing. I am taking some paints out um, just choose any kind of colors you like that you would think that work together and uh, it might change uh, later as you start stenciling your colors in and you're going to use a sponge to do that and you can also just take a little palette or just recycled plate to put your paints on. And then once you have your setup ready, now you can have some fun. So you're going to take your sponge and just dab it lightly into your pan, uh, paint. And then just, um, you know, um, dab over the stencil right onto the paper. I also use smudging motion because I don't really care if the stencils are precise, um, if the images imprint right or wrong. I'm actually trying to blend them together a little bit more. So I get a little bit more of a layering effect.
So now, as you can see, I have large portion of my paper covered, but I am going to be layering colors over each other. That brown that I have chosen doesn't really show up on my paper, but it actually looks really nice if you take that sort of uh, multi brown or beige um, over lighter color. And you can't really see it exactly, but sometimes the you know, colors that are close to each other uh, create a really nice effect as well. And then I'm using my sponge to kind of dab around the edges as well. I'm basically getting rid of color on my sponge, but at the same time, I am also creating transparencies of colors. Sometimes when the stencils dry, it's really nice to kind of smooth over them with another color to just create another form of layering. And I think it creates a really nice effect. This song is made by Finya. This is what my paper turned out like once I did the whole one side. You could also let it dry and do another side, but for this exercise we don't need to because the inside of the envelope nobody really looks in there unless you want to make it pretty. But I think the contrast of the envelope from the inside out is also really nice. So I have a template here that I designed myself. You can, um, I can um, share it with you in my web on my website, so you can go to it. But you can also make your own template. Just try to place it on the pattern that you like the best, or you can just do a completely random pattern. It doesn't, you know, have to be anything specific. I think sometimes the random um, sort of surprises us more than if we plan it out. And maybe we have something better to work with and we're going to have to add a little bit more of our imagination to it. So I'm just outlining my pattern with the pencil and then I'll just cut it out. So now that I have my stencil cut out, I am going to fold it into an envelope and it's really easy. You don't even have to use a ruler or any kind of like, um, you know, liner um, to help you fold it. You just kind of fold it along the lines where you think the folds might be and just create an envelope. Now you're going to choose the side that you're going to work on and I think um, this would be probably the front of the envelope where the address bars are going to be on and we're going to decorate it um, even better. So from this perspective I think this is where really the fun part starts. Uh, you can get really really creative. creative. The um, you know, the designing of the paper was just a little bit random and that was just kind of very loose play. But now we get to uh, really add on our creative creativity. And I um, use my uh, stamps for this. And um, because I wanted to even out the surface of the envelope just a little bit more so that my stamps will stand out a little bit more, I'm using my paint. This one I pick this sort of a mauve pink color or kind of like pink beige color and I just wanted to put a little bit of paint on but then actually I decided to put a lot more paint on there and you can either smudge it with the paper or your fingers or actually use larger brush I really don't know why I'm using this very small brush but I just wanted to do this really quickly so I just grab whatever I had on hand so I don't have to look for it for too long This song is made by Finya. Now 
now that I'm waiting for my sides to dry, I'm also going to paint the other side with just a little different color. I thought that green would sort of work with whatever I have here. Or maybe I just really wanted to choose a different color and I finally picked up a bigger brush and that goes much faster and makes much smoother surface. I don't have to use my fingers. This song is made by Finya. So now that my sides are finally dry, I can use my stamps and wherever I want to add my stamps, wherever I feel they would look best, I will just stamp them on. And I really love butterflies, they make me feel really happy. I have all kinds of butterfly stamps, so I really don't have any shortage. But I also have some stamps that I made um, myself that has sort of foliage on it and I really love that with the butterflies and um, you can use two or three different stamps to create this really nice ornamental borders. This song is made by Finya. For this part, for the front of the envelope, I've decided to paint in my art, uh, my address window. So I'm using white paint. You can also use gesso. And I thought um, I wanted to have that first. So have that as a center point from which my other ornaments sort of come from or they sort of surround that, that window, that opening. So I thought it would be better if, to, if I just start with that. And um, then I was kind of like thinking, you know, what would look good with that? Um, you know, what would sort of frame it better? So if you see my other envelopes, I actually created a lot of dotted designs, which I really enjoyed doing, but it was just a different kind of envelope. And this one, I've just decided just a really simple golden border. I also have a stamp of a hand that I had from a very long time from Tim Holtz selection and um, I've used this hand many times and it always adds this little personal touch but because I don't have um, any kind of distinction here for the stamp to stand out I've decided to take um, yellow like a golden yellow paint that's similar similar to the border around the the address opening and um, I'm going to take that golden paint and frame the hand so that uh, the hand has a chance to be seen.
my envelope is pretty much done. So I hope you enjoyed this video. I just really love my envelopes and I really think they add personal touch. You also can add more quotes to it. Then of course, put some glue on so you can fold it and it's ready to be shipped. Thank you so much for watching.